Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's little project is a sort of a tool review, tool repair slash you need this. I don't know of a lot of guys that have got one in their toolbox. Uh, this has helped me out. It's not something you use every day. But if you work on your own stuff, farming, uh, I'd say fabrication, maybe, but not as much, maybe. But if you work on anything mechanical, you need, definitely need one of these. They are cheap as dirt. Uh, I think I paid probably something in the vicinity of 10 or 12 dollars for it, uh, the equivalent. And uh, it's helped me out a lot. Uh, it's a little manual impact screwdriver. I don't know how many of guys of you have seen it. Uh, this is a little tool. It comes in its own little case. Uh, the bits are, what's it, 5 sixteenths, 8 millimeter. I think. Let me know in the little thingy below. Five is a standard bit size 5 sixteenths. I think so. It comes with two Phillips, two flatheads. And uh, then you get two of them. I haven't personally seen the 3 8 one, but you've got the little bit holder on top. And then it takes a normal half inch socket head on that side what uh yeah let's see how let, let me first tell you how it works as you, as you can see there it's got a i don't know if you guys can see in there it's got a left hand and a right hand so you can actually fasten stuff as well with it uh, i don't know why you would want to do that but you can but how this works is you actually put in your bit if you've got a phillips or flathead or a Sock up. I guess you could put sockets on here as well. Um, maybe if you're out in the field, don't have air or battery operated impact guns. But normally where this gets good use is brake rotors that are screwed on to the axle portion. And uh, those screws always seize up and this works wonders on there. So how this works is as you, you swack this with a hammer. Let me just get it and focus it. So what you'll do is you, you'll put it on the screw that you want to loosen, uh, torque it up in the lefty loosey direction and then hit it with ammo as hard as you can. Um, it, it works wonders. I'm going to try and show you how it works and then we're going to strip it because this one isn't working like it should. So I want to open it up and see what's wrong inside and uh, then we'll sort of see how, it, uh, how this thing operates. So as you can see, the moment you whack it in, this front portion actually turns uh, well, if it's on the left hand, left, left hand, then then it'll turn loose. So as you hammer it, it actually you get the impact, uh, the force of the impact of the hammer, and it turns, it clocks it in the loose direction, um, because otherwise you're sitting there, gamming out screws, making ash of it, ending up having to drill them out. Blah blah blah. You we all know the drill. Uh, this thing has saved my life more than once. Get yourself one. Chuck it in your toolbox. I promise you, if you don't forget about it, you will use it somewhere along the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this and uh, let's see what's inside. So just going to put a paper down so you guys can maybe see a bit better. Uh, there's a little circlip spring in here. Uh, there's something's going to fly away and never be seen. I'm getting the feeling of it. Let's see what if we can get it out. It looks like it's coming okay at this stage. There we go. Now this is the part where everything flies to shit. No, not, not at all. Okay, so we've got a little. Now there's a sleeve on here that I think is a bit of a... I don't know if it's press fit. You see there's pieces of metal coming out of here. That should not be. I must add to this video, this is a cheap offshore brand, uh, fuck is it, 10 bucks, come on, guys, what do you, what, what do you, what do you expect, probably if you get it off a tool truck, if the name brands tool trucks have got it, you'll pay probably 100 bucks for it, but I have never seen, needed anything better than the offshore brands, I'm just going to tap it a little bit with ammo and see if it comes loose. There we go. It's starting to come off. Right, so there we've got this little ring now. Oh, by the way, this hammer, uh, it was my dad's. He gave it to me when I was probably, uh, I'd say, about three or four. 
and I still have it. It's got a new handle on now, uh, but this is still the ammo that he gave to me, and I'm still using it today. Back to the job here. Okay, so there's a little uh, through pin in here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to depress the spring, and I don't know if you can. Let's see if we can maybe show you guys. Oh, there we go. See if I can deep it. Oh, there we come out. So we've got a little pin in there. Uh, spring and okay, I think I see what's wrong here. Okay, you've got this spring at the back. I'm gonna leave this in. It's got a fair, fair amount of weight in here. I think it's the whole moment of inertia thing. One wants to stay still, and the other one, the, the lighter one turns while the heavier one wants to stay still uh, as you whack it with a hammer. So, how this works is uh, you'll see you've got, you've got the spring pressing from this side. Uh, you've got the little pin through here. I'm going to use the screwdriver. I think it's going to show up better. And and then, so the spring pushes it out to there. Well, on the left-hand side to there. Yeah. So the spring presses it out to there. And as you're whacking it. Now, let me just get my bearing straight here. Yeah, that's it. As you're whacking it on the back, the spring compresses, and this piece moves forward. That's containing that little rod there, and you get just that little bit of a camming action, as you can see. Not a lot. Well, I'm going to try and get you into the view. That's all movement you're getting, and that's enough. To loosen the screws or bolts or whatever um, works like a charm i think what's happening here is this thing should have grease in it it hasn't got a lot in it and i think the grease that's in here is uh yeah no well i think um, it's bad i'm gonna clean it up get everything cleaned up uh put it back together and uh i'll get you back at the bench then ah I see what's happened. I think I manhandled it a bit. Maybe, I don't know if you guys, let's see if we can see there. I've worn it out a bit. I put a bit of a file on you and uh, why does it go in that direction? Ah, oh, because that's where the pin presses when you hit it with a hammer. Okay, so this offshore brand isn't that you see, so there is the feeling of not working. Alright, so I've cleaned it up. I don't know if you can see over there. Let's get my pen out. Cleaned up the edge where, it's, where it was ru running. This little pin is as hard as woodpecker lips. Uh, absolutely none. It didn't even really make it shine. So it's not the hardest of tools. But once again, it's. Uh, I knew it was an offshore brand when I bought it. And for 10 bucks, come on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack this thing full of uh, axle grease. General purpose grease, whatever you want to call it. And put it back together. And uh, let's wrap this video up. Right, there we go. Now let's see if we can get this thing back together again. Come on, there we go. Now we're gonna have to tap this one back on. I think I'm going to need a socket over here.
There we go. A little bit more. That's it. And now we just need to reinstall the little circuit. And there we go. I think this is it. Let's see if it works. There you can see how it... Uh... So, the moment you hammer on it, you're getting that little bit of an action there. And that's all that's required to Loosen up the uh, screws that you've got that's seized up. Oh, uh, a little tip. If your Phillips bit is not 100% uh, set, or you're bat battling to get a grip on it, put some valve lapping compound on it. It works magic. I'm not going to get everything dirty now again. Uh, just dip it in the valve compound, and uh, valve lapping compound, and <laughs> you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. Gents, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. You need one of these. Get one in your toolbox. Um, you can buy them from all the usual suspects. Like I said, offshore brand, it doesn't have to be a, a name brand. Uh, it'll save a lot of time. This has been the 10 bucks that I paid for it, uh, $10 that I paid for it, the equivalent. It saved me much, much more than that, just in time uh, and effort and swearing. So... Thanks for watching. I think I'm going to wrap it up. As always, um, stay safe out there, guys.